Hello, everybody. This is Mr. Ark back again. And today we're going to do an awesome. I know you're like, what the heck? Can't see anything. All right, today we're doing an awesome project. Um, awesome project. We're doing a, doing a, a project uh, for a, a security light. So this is going to bring everything that we've done back and together. And we're gonna put, we're gonna bring everything together, and all the pieces of the puzzle are gonna fit together. And you're gonna see what it's really like. All the stuff we've been learning, you're gonna say, "Aha! Now I get it." Okay, this is how you do it. So our first step, uh, number one, is we're gonna make a diagram. Uh, number two. We're going to make a truth table. Okay. Number three, we're going to make a, we're going to create a uh, Boolean uh, expression. And number four, we're going to create the circuit. Okay. So this is the order in which we're going to do stuff and you're going to see, how, and by the way, not only going to make the circuit, uh, we're going to make the circuit and simulate it. So test it. Uh, can't even spell there. Simulate and test. So first thing we got to make is a diagram. All right. Uh, so by the way, just got to tell you guys, you guys got to be able to do this. So this is. So, you know, stay focused here. All right, here's the house. And there's the house. Here's a window in the house. Here's the door in the house. And uh, there is the light on top of the door. All right. That's the light. And here on top of the house, right? Cause you know, up here is the sun. This thing right here is a, it's a, uh, it's a daylight sensor. So, oops, sensor. It's so, something like a, like a, like a, like a photo diode or, or some, basically something that's going to give you a signal if there is light shining on it. Okay. Then we got something else here. We got we got another device right around here. We'll put that there. This thing is a motion detector. Okay. So in other words, if this is the path up to the house, okay, and some you know, dude is walking up to the house. Da 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 da. Well, when do you want this light to go on? Do you want the light to go on, let's say, if it's the mailman giving you the mail? Not really. Mailmen usually, you know, mail people uh, usually work in the daytime. But, but you really. You'd kind of be suspicious if someone walks up to the front of your house in the middle of the night when it's dark. Okay. So at this point, we've made the diagram. The diagram is done. Now what we need to do is we need to make the truth table. So let's move this over a little bit here. So we can still see the diagram, but now let's make the truth table. And I'm going to, I'm going to, um, abbreviate some things okay so d is going to stand for the the daylight uh day I'm having trouble with this tablet daylight sensor okay and um m is going to stand for motion detector
And then, uh, see, there's, oh yeah, there's one other thing I forgot, actually, my bad. There's not only the light, so that the L, you could say, is the light that goes on and off, but we forgot one thing, and that is, inside the house, okay, inside the house, this is not outside the house, this is on the inside, there is the light switch, okay? Now, basically, if the person on the inside of the house, the owner of the house, wants to turn the light on, regardless of the situation, they just turn the light switch on, boom, the light goes on. So we're going to say S is going to be the light switch. Okay? So let's now make the truth table. So I'm going to go uh, D, M, S, and now I'm going to have L on this side. This is going to be the, these are, these are going to be the uh, inputs. Okay? And this is going to be the output. So whether or not the light goes on. So I'm constructing the, uh, the truth table at this point. So notice that the truth table has three inputs. Now in order to do three inputs, we're going to have to, um, so let, let's do a double line here to like, oops, I'm having trouble drawing. There, so let's do let's let's basically you know what's uh, two to the power of three is eight. So that means we have we have eight different possibilities here. So here's the first. So I'm just gonna do this in binary order. Okay, there you go. There's one. Here's two. Uh, here is three, and now. Okay, move this up a little bit. Uh, we got, there's four, five. Yeah, got to extend these things a little bit here. And then, of course, we got six. Or here, what am I doing wrong? Yeah, and finally the last one, which is seven. Right? So two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yeah, zero to seven is eight different uh, states. So now we've got to ask ourselves, when does the light go on and when does it not go on? So if we look here again, um, let's ask ourselves something. First of all, we know one thing we know for sure, right? Is if this light switch, if this switch here, if that's on, I don't care what the motion sensor or the or the daylight sensor uh, on top of the house is doing. If this lights, if the person inside turns the light on, it should go, it should just go on. All right. So right here, therefore, this one should be a one. 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 Next thing, um, if there, if it's, if there's no daylight, in other words, if it's nighttime and there's no motion, then if the, and the switch is off, then we don't want the light to come on. If it is not daytime, so it's nighttime, but the motion sensor come kicks on but the light switch is off then we want the light to come on okay because it's because you know, think about it, it's at night and there's some motion outside well we want that light sensor to come on so we're going to put a one there if it is daytime no motion and the light switch is off then we don't want the light to come on we don't want to waste electricity just because it's day, just because it's daylight uh, this one, the switch is on. The other, this one is, if it's day, if it's daytime and there's motion, and the switch is off. Well, this could be a number of things. I mean, this could be the postman. The, uh, this could be me, maybe Amazon delivering some packages. Who knows? Uh, if it's daylight, we don't really need the light to come on, even if there is motion. So we're gonna say no for this one. 
and and that's it. We fit. We filled the entire uh, truth table. So now we're done the truth table. Now let's let's quickly go back and see. Okay, what's next? All right. Um, oh, you know what? Actually, oh my goodness, I totally forgot a step here. So this is actually going to be step four, and this is going to be step five. I forgot st the most important step of all, and that's the Carnot map. We had to make the Carnot map before we do the Boolean expression. And we have, and we make the Carnot map uh, from the truth table. So the next thing we gotta do is take this truth table and make a Carnot map out of it. All right. So here is my Carnot map. And you guys should have watched the videos. If you did not watch the videos on 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 making the Carnot maps, don't watch the rest of this video. It's going to seem like gibberish to you. Go watch the videos on uh, on the Carnot maps in the channel, and then you'll, you'll things will make uh, more sense to you. So uh, here I'm going to call this uh, DM, and I'm going to call this S. Now notice here we're going to have uh, there's eight, so I gotta have four, one, two, three, four, and there's, okay, so S can be zero or one, okay, so that's S here, uh, DM, I've just chosen to do it this way, because DM comes first and then comes S, you can do it another way if you wish, there's more than one way to do a Carnot map, um, this one I'm gonna say zero, zero, this one I'm going to say zero, 01. Now remember, this is not when I'm writing these. This is gray code, okay? And if you remember from that video I posted, uh, and and I'll and I'll have the actually what I'll do is um, I'll actually have a link to the video that shows in this YouTube for anybody who's who's not in the class and and they want to see like how do you figure out how to do this Carnot stuff. I'll put a I'll put a video link uh, in the description of the video so you can watch that first and come back and watch this. So gray code you can only change one bit at a time. So in other words, I can't I can't go one zero here because then that'd be changing two bits. So I have to go one one. See, so I left this this one the same. That's still a one, but I changed this one to a zero. Now I got I can only change one bit again. And so the only thing left is one zero. That's called gray code. Now, I gotta fill it in. All right. So the way the way I find easy to the way the easy way to do this is just go back to the truth table, and let's start going one by one. So zero 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 is zero. That's the first one. That's here. Boom. Stick a zero in there. Next, zero zero. That's here, and there's a one. That's a one right there, see? Okay, next, uh, zero one is a zero, or sorry, let me, see, let me, let me, let me, let me back up here. Zero one for DM, that's right, zero one, but S is zero, that's a one, that's a one. So we just did that one. Next, so let me just, do a line there. Now we're on this one here. Okay, zero one here, right there, and um, so we're on this one now. Zero one one is a one. Okay, one zero zero one zero zero is a zero. Okay, done. One zero one is a one. One zero one is a one. One one zero. One one zero is a zero. And finally, one 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 is a one. Therefore, DM one one S one is a one. Okay. So now that we've uh, finished the Carnot map, we have to select the prime implicants. And in this case, 
Remember, prime implicants have to be in packages of 2 to the power of. So we would go 2, 4. You can't go 3, right? It's got to be 2, 4, 8, like that. So here is one prime implicant. And, and you got to go biggest ones. And the next prime implicant is here. That's a package of four ones. So now we got our, now that we've done the Carnot map, okay, uh, so what's next? After the Carnot map comes the Boolean expression. Now we've got to do the Boolean expression. All right. So now we're going to say, now the Boolean expression for what, right? You might ask, well, it's for L. Okay, so we'll say L equals, and notice, let's take this big one here first. It's the easiest one. Notice that this is really simple. Basically, it just says that uh, when, when S is asserted, then it's always, it's always going to be on. So therefore, we can just say S. So we don't, there's no other thing to write with it. It's just always on when S is on. Okay. Then our next expression we go to with a plus symbol. And it's this one. Now we have to figure out what this, this one is here. This, this, um, these two ones there. Now for that one, notice that we got, we got DM and then we've got S. Now, notice the, the D is, a, so this is it here, that's the D, that's the M. Notice the D is a 0, okay, and the M is a 1. And also notice that uh, it's true for both when S is off and when S is on. So S is off here, S is on here. Therefore, this uh, this prime implicant is not going to depend on S because it's it's zero and one, so it's not going to depend on S. But how does it depend on DM? Well, D is zero, so that's not D, and then M, and there you have it. That is your Boolean expression. Now. Uh, how do you draw, so now we're on the last part, right? Now that we have our Boolean expression, how do you draw the circuit? So to draw the circuit, we're going to basically have our three inputs, D, and then uh, M, and then S. And we can draw vertical lines on each one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say, all right, well, remember how this works here is this is simply S. And when you have a plus, that's the same as an or. And when you have a multiplication, right, that's the same as an and. So these two guys are being anded. That's an and, and that plus is an or. So therefore, we'll go S, we'll take a line off, straight off of S, and we'll plug it into an or gate. There's our or gate. And then we'll take uh, D, but we're going to not D, so we'll go like this. And we'll put it through a not gate. Okay, so that's not D. And then we'll take, well, we actually, we should have like jumped over this guy because we're not touching that. And then we're going to take um, M and we're going to put this through an AND gate. And we're going to OR these two guys. And so that is going to be our light switch. And so this should work at this point. So let, let's give it a shot. Let's test it out. Let's see if it works. So let's switch over to another program that we have here. 
It's called Logi Sim. Awesome program. I love it. And um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create uh, <clears throat> three inputs. Okay. Here they are. One, two, uh, three. And we'll call this one uh, the daylight detector. Okay, and we'll call this one, I don't know if this, yeah, I don't know if I can make this, sorry about the sirens, people are going berserk outside, I guess, uh, the second one was the motion sensor, alright, and then, the last one was uh, the switch. All right. So I believe we had to and these two guys. Okay. So let's um. Well, first let's get our switches, or sorry, our gates. Here's our logic gates. Let's grab an and gate. All right, we'll go like that. And we're gonna need an OR gate. And we'll put the OR gate there. And now we should, we should uh, try and connect them. Go like that. And then we'll go, oops, I think I messed up a little bit right there. Let me fix that, there you go. And we'll put this guy into here. Okay, and then, oh wait, I think I messed up actually because I think I was supposed to not this guy. So if I go back, yeah, so so the daylight sensor is supposed to be knotted. <clears throat> so uh, I got to get a knot gate and stick it in line right there. There we go. And then we'll connect that and we'll connect that. There, that's good. And then... Uh, the daylight was anded with the motion sensor. So let's grab the motion sensor and let's and it. There you go. And then we're gonna get the switch, the light switch, and we'll just put it there and go straight into the OR gate. Oops, didn't, I went I went too far a little bit there. Uh, oh, deleted the whole OR gate. Let's try that again. There. Uh, now I got to, I hope that's connected. I think it is. Now I got to connect this guy. Um, to the OR gate. All right, and then I can have this coming out, and that's going to be my light sensor. So that's uh, my output, and put my output right there. All right, let's let's test it. So uh, let's turn the switch on. Oh, well, I got to go to my uh, poker, my pokey button thing to turn the switch on. Boom. Okay, the switch is on. Notice the light switch goes on. Yep, that's good. Okay. Next thing I want to do is I want to say it is um, is daylight, okay, and motion sensor goes on. Uh, nope, this light sensor. So I should actually put light here to show you, you know, light bulb. All right, so it's not coming on, even though. It's it's daytime, but the motion sensor is on. It's com not coming on. What if it is nighttime? Ha ha! Nighttime. The motion, the daylight detector is off, but there is motion, and the light switch is off, but the light bulb goes on. 
Woohoo! We got it. Yes, it works. So now you see, uh, we got pretty much every scenario. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any other ones we really need to check. Basically, that's the only situation where we want the light bulb to come on even though the switch is off. And so this is what you're looking at here. We tested it. We created the, the, the circuit diagram and tested it all from everything we've done previously by creating the diagram, truth table, Carnot map, Boolean expression, and then the circuit. So we went through the whole thing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I highly recommend you try this uh again without looking at the video at all and see if you can actually generate every step and uh and recreate it for yourself uh it there's a lot of value in being able to do it so remember you learn a lot more by doing than just watching hope you enjoyed the video see you next time bye bye